Hi everybody, this is Miss Gwen again. Welcome back to the craft or activity portion of this program. So you should have received your bag. And in it, we have lots of goodies. So we have our little instruction sheet that tells you what's inside. And at the end, it also lists my email address. So whatever you've done, please send me photographs so we can post it to our uh, Facebook page. So inside, you'll receive some coloring pages and some fun facts about birds and bees. So here's one about birds. And what else do we have here? Oh, we have a seek and find. And we have a coloring page of a ruby-throated hummingbird. And then we have a fun fact sheet about bees. And then a fun coloring page of a beautiful bee on a flower. So the first part of this activity is something for the bees. So in it, you can bring out your little pouch of dirt and you should have a biodegradable cup and a little packet of wildflower seeds and a spoon. So of course, in order to attract bees, you need flowers. So that's why we're going to start with flowers. Okay, so what you do is you get your pack, your package of dirt and your trusty spoon and you can spoon out some dirt and pour it into your cup. And if you want, you can lay out some newspaper or some other kind of paper that you can easily clean up later. Okay, so here's another bit you can see there. So I'm going to fill it up to, let's see, to maybe almost to the top. We're going to leave about maybe a quarter of an inch empty. So you probably won't use all your dirt. Okay, let's see if I. What do you think? Maybe just a little bit more. If you put too much in, you can always take some out. Okay, right there. That looks pretty good. Okay, and what you need to do is you can take your little finger or your pointer finger and you're gonna make some holes inside. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your little pack of wildflower seeds and take a little spoonful and you're just going to kind of pour it inside those holes. Now you might just get it all on the top like I'm doing right now. But what you can do is then you can just take your spoon or your finger, I'm gonna just use my finger, and kind of push it all down in the dirt. I'm gonna cover it. And then when you're done, you can put it on a little paper plate or in a little container like this because there is a hole at the bottom. And then you're going to want to water it and keep it in a sunny space until you start seeing the little buds appear. And then you can either put it in a bigger pot or when the temperatures are, I think when they're staying above 50, um, you can plant it outside you can put the whole cup in the hole in the uh, in the dirt because this is biodegradable it'll it'll come apart in the dirt eventually okay now for the next part we have a trusty toilet paper roll I bet you didn't know there were so many things you could do with toilet paper rolls we have some yarn and we have some bird seed. So the first thing you want to do is get some kind of a, a plate or a container. I'm using an old meat tray that I cleaned and I'm going to pour my, let me, let me move the, let's see if I can move the camera down a bit so you can see a little bit better.
Maybe like that. So there's my tray. And I'm going to put my bird seed. I'm going to pour it right into the tray. Just like that. Okay, now this is bird food. This is food for the birds. So you can play with it a little bit. It feels kind of cool in my fingers. Do a little sensory play before you get started. Oh, it feels so neat. Okay, then you're going to get your toilet paper roll and your peanut butter from home or almond butter or soy butter, any other kind of butter. And then what you are going to do is you are going to put peanut butter all over the toilet paper roll. So you can use your spoon again, or if you have a plastic knife and your parents say it's okay, you can use that. Okay, so we're going to scoop out some peanut butter. See right there? And then we're just going to spread it all over. It doesn't need to be on really thick. It can be on pretty thin. Some more peanut butter because you want to get it all over so you might get some on your fingers and that you can just flick off okay, you got a little bit left over here I have to put peanut butter on every last bit out I can So when you have, this might take you a little bit longer, so take your time. And then when you have it spread all over, and if you want to stop and wash your hands, that's fine. You're going to take your bird seed, and take your toilet paper roll that's covered with peanut butter or almond butter and roll it. Roll it in that bird seed, and the bird seed will stick to the peanut butter. I'm gonna roll it all over. I might even want to pick some up and kind of pour it on. If you see any open spots of peanut butter, you can take it and the bird seed and push it on. that. Oh, I see some spots right there. We can add some bird seed to. Okay. And then you can either let it dry a little bit or you can do it now. You get your yarn. Get one of the ends. You put it through paper roll like that. I'm gonna bring it through so that it so that the ends match. Put that down. And then you might need help with this part. You can either tie it yourself or get your one of your big people to do it for you. Just like that. Okay. And then it's like a hanger. You can go outside and hang it from a tree branch or somewhere else. Maybe you have a gate, you can hang it from the gate, and then the birds can come along and they can peck at the little seeds. So now we have something to attract the bees and something to attract the birds. So I hope you enjoy this activity or these two activities. So please take pictures when you start getting little seedlings coming up or take a picture of your bird hanger in your yard and please send them to me at ggaj 
tto at lmls.org so I can post them on our li on the library's Facebook page. And also because this is all part of the Longwood Gardens Community Read Program. And where is my bookmark? So we can promote this. There it is. We have a book for adults too. The Home Place Memoirs of a Colored Man's Love Affair with Nature. So be sure to check that out at the library and Ruby's Birds as well. So we have some passes. I have about 12 passes for families for Longwood Gardens for four people. So if you are interested, please um, send me an email with your name and I'll put it in a big bowl. And if we have more than 12 people, we'll pick 12 winners and I'll let you know who got the passes. All right. I hope you had a great time and I'll see you next time. Bye.